So today I have something planned that I've had planned for a minute, but since my last YouTube video, I got sick in between that and didn't have time to shoot this video, but now that I'm feeling a lot better, I do. And so today I wanted to go out and test the quality between an iPhone camera, this is iPhone 11 Pro, and the GoPro Hero 8 camera and see how they go up against each other and see if it's worth even just getting a GoPro just for photos only. Or if you're just better off just using your phone, the phone that you have in your pocket, and having this be your main shooter when you don't have a camera yet. So let's go ahead and put these cameras to the test and see which one is the better camera. Okay, so I'm at the park now. There's a lot of people here surprisingly, but it is a nice day. It's like 70 degrees out, which it doesn't feel like it thanks to the wind. Pretty windy, but not right now, thankfully. And uh, yeah, so I'm on this trail right now and just gonna be getting photos along the way and I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So right now I'm at this dock right here and I think it's a really good spot. If I walk this way a little bit more, it's gonna be like a really good location to just like snag a quick photo and I think this is gonna be the first shot just because it's a good lineup and I think it's a great way to warm up the shots. And today we're gonna be doing three different photos. So this is gonna be the first one, then I'm gonna find another spot for the second one and then do a third one because in total it's gonna be six images. So I think doing three different spots would be a good way to test the quality on each camera. Yeah, without further ado, let's just hop right into it. So for the first one, we're gonna be using the GoPro and see how it does in this situation and then use the iPhone. So I didn't take it into account, but my shadow is pretty harsh right now. So I'm gonna to try to figure out a different way to get this shot, but I think I can make it work. So since the shadows are really harsh right now, I think I have a way to use the GoPro in a way where it won't capture the shadow, at least not terribly. So let's try to get low and try to get the shot that way. And I think that will work. Now that I got the photos with the GoPro, let's go ahead and use the iPhone and see what shots I can get with it. So there's this one spot at this park that's like super dope. It's like a perfect lineup for any type of shoot that you're doing. And it's one of my favorite spots. It's like this long bridge that's just straight and has a little bit of an arch to it. But I mean, the way we're gonna be shooting it, you can't really tell, but it's super dope. So let's go ahead, go over there and get the shot. So funny enough, I'm actually liking this spot right behind me on this trail. It's like a little zigzag in it and I think it looks super sick and I'm going to try to capture that with the GoPro but the only thing with the GoPro is I got to shoot it at a wide angle so that way the photos are raw. You can't really shoot raw with any other lens that's on the GoPro itself so I got to be using the ultra wide like the 16 millimeter in it so it is what it is but hey you can still get some really cool shots and I think this one's going to come out super sick as a wide angle shot so let's get the GoPro out shoot that and then shoot it with the iPhone after that. The shot that I just got with the GoPro, it looks so good with it. So I'm gonna get the iPhone out and try it now. So let's go ahead and do it. Actually, I think it's coming out super sick on the iPhone too. I think it's just the location. It's just a good spot and good shot. I, I like it. I think we got the shots there. I'm actually really hyped on the photos that I got right there. So let's go ahead and head to the last location, which is that bridge spot. And once again, I gotta be fairly quick on it because I just had like about 12-ish people walk past me just now when I was like checking the footage, make sure everything was good and checking the photos and making sure I got the shot. So yeah, kind of a busy day. All right, well, this camera's about to die, which sucks, but we're at the last spot. I'm just waiting for some people across the bridge right now. And then from there, go ahead and get the shots. So again, I gotta be kind of quick because there are a lot of people coming through. Let's get these shots and then let's get out of here and edit these photos. All right, so now that everyone's off the bridge, this is what it is. This is what it looks like. Yeah, like, like a straight path going across right there. And it's like the perfect setup for really any photo that you want to do. Let's go ahead, get the GoPro out, take some shots, and then take the iPhone out and get these photos. My camera just died, 
and I don't know if it captured what I needed to capture for me capturing photos with the GoPro. That was a lot of captures. Whatever. Anyways, so I'm hoping I got it. If not, I just got some photos with the GoPro and just to give you guys a quick update on it. And I don't really want to block the mic because I don't really know where it's on the GoPro, but hey, whatever. I think we're good to go. Not 100%, but I do like how they came out with the iPhone photos as well. Now, look at the GoPro ones before I found out my camera died, and those came out really good too. So, let's get back to my place, edit these photos so I can show you guys the differences. Alright, so I got the images done, and honestly, I'm a lot more surprised with how they turned out than I thought they would have. So, the first shot is with the GoPro, as you see here. It's pretty desaturated. I kind of want to make it a little bit desaturated for this image considering how far back I was and how harsh the lighting was. But I do like how it came out. I think it came out pretty well. With the GoPro, since it is a wide angle lens, it is hard shooting close up and raw because one, you have to have it in wide angles in order for the GoPro to shoot raw, which does suck. And you can get some fantastic images with the wide angle if you want to do some POV shots. Super fun, always a fun time. I recommend trying it. But this is the shot I got with the GoPro. And then this is the shot I got with the iPhone. Honestly, for this photo, I think the iPhone takes the win just because it's a lot more saturated, obviously, because you're not shooting raw on the iPhone. I mean, you can, but you have to like go into a third party app and whatnot. And I just wanted to use the camera app itself since that's what most people will be using. Just like someone like yourself, you might be using the iPhone's default camera app, which is what I do, honestly, 100% of the time. I have not downloaded any other program to shoot raw or whatnot. But with this image, it captured it very well. I got the same low angle as I did for the GoPro, but it's a little bit more zoomed in because I didn't shoot it wide, which I could have and just matched it with the GoPro. But honestly, for this shot, I kind of needed it to be a little bit zoomed in. And if I zoomed in with the GoPro, it was gonna look bad if I cropped it in and post. It did not look good whatsoever. So having that one wide and keeping the iPhone at its default one-time zoom, it just works for this location. And that's it for the first location. As you see on the left side, we have the GoPro, and on the right side, we have the iPhone one, and I think the iPhone one's in the first round. All right, so for this one, this is the second round. Let's see which camera takes the win on this one. So here we have the GoPro shot, and I honestly think the GoPro did really well in this location just because I was trying to capture the little zigzag path that I was on, and I wanted to show the environment around it as well. And I think the GoPro did a great job. I captured the sunlight coming in because you see the harsh shadows from the trees right below it at the bottom of the image, and I think it works out well. The only thing is the coloring for it didn't really work out in my favor. I was kind of having a hard time getting the coloring right or in a way that I liked personally, and so this is how it turned out, and you got the person in the middle of the frame, which I think fits well. I like it a lot. Even though the coloring in the image isn't exactly how I want it to be, I still dig it quite a bit just because it's still a unique image, and I just love the zigzag in the path. But that's enough with the GoPro. Let's check out the iPhone one. And with this one, I honestly didn't really need to do a whole lot to it just because it's already pretty saturated as it was. You have the sun coming in, and you see the harsh shadows on the ground from the sun casting onto the trees. I saturated the blues a little bit just because I wanted to make that sky pop and have it like show how blue it really was outside during that time shooting. But here's the two images side by side. Once again, on the left side, you got the GoPro, and on the right side, you have the iPhone. In this round, I think iPhone took the W on this one just because GoPro, it kind of had a hard time doing the color grading that I wanted it to do. I could have taken a Photoshop and color graded it more and more, but I just wanted to do all of the edits in Lightroom and just try to work with Lightroom only. So here we are for the third and final round of this challenge. One of my favorite things about this bridge is how symmetrical it is, especially if you get down low, and that's exactly what we did because it just works out perfectly for the shot. So here we have the GoPro's image. As you see right down the middle, we have the shadow from the sun casting it off the uh, railing on the right side. And I just feel like it just made it work very well. And you have like a leading line going straight down the bridge and it just works out so perfectly. And honestly, I'm hyped on it. I was super hyped when I took it. I was like, this is gonna be a good shot and I knew that right away. The one thing I kind of messed up on while shooting this image, it was kind of tilted a little bit and kind of like turn. So I had to like go and post and like, I had to readjust the horizon and like make the vertical like more straight and make it match up and everything like that. But that's what happens when you're out shooting. There's some things that go wrong, kind of like how that did, but I feel like I was able to manage to fix it pretty well. So 
that's it for the GoPro one. I think it came out fire. I love it. I like the shot quite a bit. Now that you guys saw the GoPro image, let's go ahead and hop over to the iPhone image. So here we are with the iPhone's image. As you see in the bottom, we have the leading line from the shadow casting by the sun off the railing, going right towards the center. And it's everything about this shot it just makes your eyes go straight to the center. And I love it for that. And that's exactly why with the GoPro image versus this shot, it's hard for me to choose. So for the final round, I think the iPhone takes it home all the way. It's a home round with the iPhone. And with that, I think that's gonna be it for the final round. I think iPhone took it home all the way. Every single round, the iPhone did a better job in every environment. But I think the GoPro is perfect for POV images. Like if you have a chest strap or a head mount or something like that, and you wanna capture like point of view shots like that, I think the GoPro does a fantastic job in that situation. But I think the GoPro does do a great job, but then again, the iPhone is fantastic. And if you already have the iPhone in your pocket, might as well use it to start photography instead of getting a GoPro. But if you do get a GoPro, take some photos with it, try it out yourself, and who knows, maybe you'll take a fantastic image better than the images I took today. So that's gonna be it for me for today. Again, the iPhone, clean sweep, swept the whole house, just cleaned it right up with the broom. And the GoPro didn't really hold up, but I think the GoPro is a great device, so I just need to master it. It's just my personal experience with it. I'm not fantastic with it, but if you're doing any point of view images, it's fantastic. It's a great, great device. Anyways, if you guys did like today's video, be sure to drop a like, comment down below, and let me know what you thought. Did you think the GoPro did better than the iPhone, or do you agree with me that the iPhone did better than the GoPro? And remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on a single video. I create content around photography and I feel like you'll really enjoy them. So with that being said, remember to keep creating and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.